Hi, friends, and welcome to our latest episode of Keeping Up with the Jackrabbits. I'm Tyler Merriam, and with us on today's show is the head coach of the SDSU baseball program, Rob Bishop. Coach, how are you? I'm doing very well, and uh, other than not having baseball, I, I have no complaints. This time of year, you typically are going literally all over the country with your team playing baseball. Instead, you're home with your wife, with your kids. It is a, a little different to, because you get to spend some more quality time with the family. Yeah, you know, there's uh, there's silver linings to every challenge, and I think the the silver lining to this one, I I, uh, I know you know this, Tyler, but I have a, a daughter that's a senior and a son that's a freshman, so usually in the early spring at least we don't get to spend very much time together and we've had a a bunch of time together this spring so it's been it's been good and um i've enjoyed all the extra time with the family and spending time outdoors and and uh you know honestly just kind of experiencing something different we all we all uh being uh sort of baseball junkies we all miss it but um at least we're uh, we're together and I've, I've uh, had the good fortune of getting to spend some more time with the family. What was it like coaching with Mark Eklund? You know, I loved it because at that point, it, it, maybe from his perspective is a little bit different, but at that point, uh, SDSU had one assistant baseball coach and the grad assistant was it. So he gave me a lot of responsibility. I got to kind of cut my teeth learning how to recruit and, um, you know, probably hopefully have some successes but also have some failures in that regard and and really just um learn what was going to work for me and then i also got to spend two years with a veteran coach that had been at it for a long time and uh, mark was very organized and very structured in what he did and i i mean i still use the uh, use things that i learned um all those years ago today and the other unique part about this we talk about starting at SDSU and learning under Coach Eklund, who obviously uh, the, the the most tenured and uh, and most successful head coach in, in program history, the 1984 College World Series, et cetera, et cetera. But during your two years here as a GA, you worked alongside a guy who went on to become the head coach at multiple colleges and now is working with you and in our department as well in Jeff Holm. Yeah. So Jeff and I – um, got to coach together for a year and, and really, uh, more than anything, we got to know Jeff and Amy and, and be, uh, be friends with them. And, and, uh, Janelle and I had just been married after my first year or halfway through my first year as a DA here. So, um, you know, we got to spend the last year and a half here kind of as our, as our first, our first bit of being married as well. So yeah, it, the personal connections that you make are, are what it's about. You know, Kathy Halens was here. I, I GA'd with Ben Hines, who's our head athletic trainer, and with AJ, who's our head women's basketball coach. And um, Nancy Niebuhr was at that point the women's basketball coach and Scott Nagy, the head coach so um, of the men's team. So, you know, it, it's uh, to me, it's always felt like a family here, and that's what made it attractive to come back. You've been a head coach at multiple schools, really spanning all levels of college baseball. But during that time, you also had the opportunity to be an administrator. And how has that changed your perception of things? And I ask that because so many, and you write it off a couple of names, have, have just been coaches. You've been more than a coach. How has that helped you or changed your perspective? Well, it's changed my perspective. I, d I don't know that it's always a help because I think sometimes, uh, sometimes when, uh, you know, you have a situation like we're all in now, like not just our department, but you know, everyone in the country and world is in now with this big problem. I, I honestly, I would tell you, I tend to be somebody that thinks about things from 10,000 feet. So I'm looking at the big picture. Um, not necessarily what practice looks like today, but you know, the big picture of what the program or, and even what just the department looks like. So I think there's some definite benefits to, to having that experience. I, I, I guess I hope that I am able to kind of roll with some things that, you know, maybe from a baseball perspective, aren't always positive, but from a department standpoint, I can understand them. Um, and then I think, uh, you know, just, just having a global perspective is, 
is uh, it's beneficial in general. I think um, I enjoy just my favorite part of being in college athletics is being around all the other coaches and all the other staff members and people and student athletes and just kind of the daily interaction. So I'd say that's the biggest challenge of uh, COVID-19 to me is just not getting those opportunities on a day-to-day basis. Well, another challenge is recruiting. Obviously, it's a totally different situation now, and in particular, the news that came out over the past few days of American Legion Baseball, which is so integral uh, to so many states, particularly in South Dakota, and the fact that American Legion Baseball is not going to happen this year. It's not going to be sponsored in any state. What sort of an impact do you envision that having on how you see the the future of of the sport of baseball and, and how you recruit? Well, I hope that it doesn't long-term really impact SDSU baseball. I think it will impact uh, the timeline with which recruits and their families make decisions. Um, You know, we've been at a point now where honestly guys in the middle of their junior year are deciding what school they're choosing. Um, In this year, you know, none of those kids are going to be able to, none of those juniors are going to be able to have spring baseball and likely not have any or most of their summer season. Um, I feel fortunate with South Dakota and and just like the setup that we have, like we have a really good grasp of who those juniors are that we're interested in um, and that are interested in us. and, And so I feel like we have a good grasp of the local, you know, and local to me, local means, you know, Rapid City to Minneapolis to Omaha, you know, that's a big, it's a big circle, but um, we have a good grasp of that group of people. I think uh, the challenge will be in the out years, you know, in the sophomores, juniors, freshmen, those guys will have to, we'll have to hustle a little bit to make a lot of evaluations, maybe a little bit quicker than we'd like to. Speaking of the recruiting side of it, when you're making your pitch and talking to potential uh, Jackrabbits, uh, how important is it to them that you can look back and, and rattle off the names of Blake Trinan and Caleb Theobar and Lane Sompson? And here is this run of individuals and so many more who have been drafted and are currently or have played in the professionals below the major league level. How helpful is that when you're trying to persuade a student athlete? Well, I think if a, if a guy has aspirations of playing after college, um, it's, it's comforting for them to know that you can do that from here. You know, we've had, if you look at the last 10 years, 15 years in our region, and that's including Minnesota and Iowa and Creighton and Nebraska and, you know, the, the, a big region, like we've arguably had as much success at that next level as a program as anyone. So um, if a kid is maybe under the radar, or they're a three or four sport athlete, like a lot of our guys are that, um, you know, once they focus on baseball, really their potential to me has a chance to explode. Um, those guys that have aspirations, at least at very least, it's not a roadblock. You know, they're not thinking, Hey, if I go to SDSU, uh, it's only X. Um, there's the opportunity. They're going to get seen. Uh, we play a very competitive preseason schedule on an annual basis. And um, our guy, I mean, Gus Steiger, you know, Gus, our shortstop. I mean, he's, I haven't seen a better shortstop in the last three years. You know, it's unfortunate that we haven't played a lot of home games in his uh, career, but he's as good as any shortstop that I've been around that we've played against. And that's including, you know, uh, Minnesota again that the, the mid majors and the power five schools in our region so uh, we have really good players it's uh, it's a good opportunity with our indoor facility for them to get to get a chance to develop and if kids fit academically uh, they can play early here and really get an opportunity to to uh, maximize their potential and I think that's our biggest selling point. Well, Rob, you and I could sit here and chat all night, uh, but for the sake of our wives and our families, we probably should <laughs> should end this conversation. So uh, wish you the best, my friend, and hope to see you real soon. Thanks, Tyler. I look forward to it. That's Rob Bishop, head baseball coach. I'm Tyler Miriam. Thank you for joining us for our latest Keeping Up with the Jackrabbits.